Hi everyone and welcome to Easy Meals. For this part of the show, I will be sharing with you a simple recipe. This involves the Savoy sausage and it's called the Savoy sausage flour balls. It's a homemade recipe, something for you to try at home and for you to have fun with your kids. Now, I usually like flour balls in coconut milk and I was like, what if I added one more ingredient into it? And that's when the Savoy sausage came into play. So with me, I have these ingredients that you can use. You can use any other ingredients that you'd like to experiment with, but the particular ones that I use are the ones right in front of me. So you have half of a full onion, half of it. I have three sausages here, but you can use as many sausages as you want, depending on the amount of people you'll be feeding. Uh, also a bowl of coconut milk. Uh, right now I just have that amount. And also two cups of flour, as I said earlier on, depending on how many people you're going to feed, you have to cook according to that number. And bean just to use as garnish. So, I've also got my pot on the stove heated up. You can see the water boiling. And I just put that on low. There it is. Now the first thing to do is chop up your beans and then put them aside. So let's do that right now. So you can use parsley as your garnish, but for me, I prefer to use the beans for today. I'll show you how later during uh, the cooking process. So let's just chop this up. Okay, with the onion, now you'll be wondering why is she using the onions? Well, with the onion, I'm gonna dice them into tiny cubes and I'll mix them up in the flowers. All right, now that our onions are diced up nicely, let's just pull them back into the bowl because I have to use the board again for the sausages. Just collect all these bits and pieces, put in there. Just loose the knife. Now the next part, the important ingredient for tonight, the Savoy sausage. So pick up your Savoy sausage. You can either just slice them in the middle first, or you can just go like, you don't really need to slice them. So with your sausages, after you slice them in the middle, you can either peel the red part, you see the red covering? Pull that out. You can get your kids to help you out with this because it's just removing the covering of the sausage. Uh, cut another bit up. It, what happens is that when you have the sausage covering, this plastic uh, type of thing on the sausage, it's so hard to actually use your fork to uh, mash it up. So it's better you remove them. It's simple and easy to remove. Just make sure it's removed properly. Okay, the next step is to get your fork and then mesh this up. Let's just put this aside and bring that close. So what you're going to do, just watch closely. You use your fork and then you start meshing them up like that. So with your fork, you can get the kids to help you with this as well. Like after peeling the sausages, get them to do this. Next thing you're going to add is your diced onion. Just put a bit of it. And there it is, your onion and your flour. Now the next bit to add in is the mashed sausages or the minced sausages that you've done. Up. So add a bit in and then mix it with your hands. You can do that with a spoon. Uh, for this, I'm just using my hands. Add some more in. Mix them up. Okay, the next thing you're going to do, add a bit of water in. With the water, you can just have a bowl of water and then slowly add it in. As you add it, just make sure you use your fingers to uh, smoothen it in. So you add your water in. And as your water is adding in, you just use your fingers to mix them up like that. So it gets evenly. 
Okay, while that's doing it, make sure your water's boiling. Just make sure, yes, my water's boiling. Okay, well, I'll let it uh, simmer and then I'll mix this up for you. All right, that should do. This is how your mix should look like. Okay, I'll just put this to the side, put the water jar to the side. Open your pot of boiling water, just put the lid on the side. So some of you know how to do the flour balls. It's easy like that, but this time you've added in uh, the minced celery sausage and your onions in. So what you do, your hands are going to look messy like that, but it's all good, just have fun. So you get a piece of it, roll it up into nice tiny balls. I think I'll make them a bit bigger like that. Hold them together. Roll them up. Make sure your balls are nice and round. Don't worry about it coming out or falling apart because the flour will act as glue and hold it together. Let's put the first one in, into the boiling water. Make sure your water's boiling. There it goes. Uh, let's do some more. Finish all the little bits of flour that we have in here. last bowl in. Now what you're going to do next, put the lid on and let your Savloy sausage flour bowl boil for about five minutes and then check it and stir it up and then we'll add in the next lot of ingredients. So let me just put the lid on for that. All right the five minutes is up. Give me time to wash my hands and clear the bench. Let's check if this is boiling and give it a stir. Yes it is. Boiling in water. Okay, let's just give that a stir. Now let's just put the pot lid back on and let it sit for another five minutes. And then I will add the beans in. All right, the next five minutes is up. Let's check this. Yes, it looks ready. To add in is our plate of beans. Let's just put it in. Well, the beans are just as garnish. You can add in a lot of vegetables if you like, capsicum, broccoli. I just prefer to put beans in for now. And also your coconut milk. Let's put it in. There's something simple that you can do with your kids for dinner. You put it to the side and just give it a tiny stir. I prefer the bowls to just soak in coconut milk, but if you prefer to add curry or any flavoring in, do so. Right now it's just beans, uh, the Savoy sausage flour bowls, and coconut milk. We'll let this simmer for about five more minutes, and then after that I will serve it and you will see how it looks like. Let's cover this up. Good. Now remember to keep an eye on your pot because when you add the coconut cream in, you will see it boiling and pouring out. So keep an eye on it. Just remember to uh, put your lid sideways and then if it's boiling and rising, just remove it and let it boil. You can see the coconut cream is blending in well with the Savoy sausage flour balls and the beans all in there. The beans are half cooked at the moment. Let's let that stay for another two more minutes and then I shall remove the pot. You can add any spices you want. I like the thyme leaves, so I'm going to put a bit of it in. You can put curry or whatever spice you'd like to use. Let me just stir it. All right, our Savoy sausage flour bowl is about ready. Now I'm going to serve directly from the pot. So let's plate them up. Sage flour balls. You can smell the flour as well as the Savoy sausage and the coconut cream all in together. And look at the onion sticking out.
Now look at how the thyme leaves and the coconut milk sit well. I'm just going to save a bit of coconut cream and then just to moist this up, pour a little bit. You can save it in a bowl if you'd like to. I just prefer it on a flat plate so that I can use my fork and my All right, the coconut cream moist it. Let's add a bit of thyme leaves as garnish and then sprinkle. And that was my simple homemade celery sausage flour bowl recipe that I have shared with you on Easy Meals. I hope that you can try this out with your family at home. And remember that the amount of ingredients that you use for this recipe depends on the amount of people you'll be feeding at home. With that, have fun and enjoy the rest of the week. Thank you.